Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. You're probably familiar with this little guy. If you have a DJI Osmo Pocket, you have a case that's included that helps you protect your DJI Osmo Pocket. I don't have it in here currently right now because I am doing a first impressions review of the Tiny Rigs version of it. Now this is obviously a lot bigger um, than the original and that's because it's going to allow you to attach a lot of uh, additional accessories into the case to bring it with you and for that low price of under $20. This was $16.99 when I went and purchased it to try it out off of Amazon.com. If you're interested in it, please go ahead and use my link down below and that will give me a little bit of commission for anything you purchase at that time uh, with Amazon. So onward with the first impressions. All right, so they designed this to handle a couple of things, not just hold your DJI Osmo Pocket like this originally did, and also allow you to keep the, keep the interface module, whichever one that you wanna use, go ahead and attach on there. It also allows you to hold a bunch of other things directly all at once. Otherwise, what's the point of having something bigger, right? So right here, I have the thumb control module over here, but I could easily use the original DJI Osmo attachment uh, to GoPro type attachment mount and have that attached in there at the same time while I have it in here and still work out just fine. So I have the thumb control module in there. Got the main unit. Over here, I actually have the wireless module base also installed already in there. And then I have four ND filters, one, two, three. And um, wait, actually, one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? I thought I had four of them in there. Let me open this up. Here we go. So I have four of them here. One, two, three, four. These are supposed to hold the ones that are very specifically designed for the DJI Osmo. If you have a third party one that exceeds the size of the frame of the lens, they warn that that's not going to work. So I got four of them in here. Plus, I have a micro SDXC card slot uh, right over here. So you can't see it from that angle, but it's all over there. So you can feasibly hold all these things in there and it is reasonably snug inside. Now that is also one of the problems that I have uh, with this is that everything's really snug in here. It's really a little bit more difficult to get out. So you'll see that I have an opening here for the USB-C slot to charge it at the same time and also the LED light slots uh, remain open. So you can see the status. If you are charging, you can see when it's fully charged directly from here and while all keeping it in a case. Plus there's actually an additional slot over here for you to go ahead and attach, I believe, another one of the modules over here on the side. So it makes fairly decent good use of the space, assuming that you carry and attach all this stuff with you or want it on hand. Here's the problem with it though. See, everything's really nice and tight and snug. At least this is the way it is right now. Maybe it might get a little bit looser, but with all this stuff attached, I'm finding I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting this out of the case. It takes a little bit more effort, and sometimes when I'm putting it in or taking it out, I fear that I might actually break the gimbal portion over here, the delicate portion over here. So this is with the wireless casing. The, the front part comes out okay, but it takes some effort to, and, and even then, see the thumb part comes out just a little bit easier. But this, it's this part right here, it's too snug. This part here, the wireless module, it's just a little bit too snug for everything that I really have a hard time getting it out. So it's not bad if it's something you're gonna be transporting around and you're only gonna take it out and put it back in periodically, if you're just going to be hand holding this most of the time anyway, it's really nice and convenient to have all these things in here. And uh, another issue with this is just that if you don't have a filter that fits exactly precisely just right over the lens portion, like these do right here, I'll have a link down for these below right here. If it exceeds this lens portion by a little bit, they warn you that it's not going to fit very well. And it's, it's true. I've tried another set that just exceeds it just a bit and it doesn't really fit very well in here. Taking in and out, you do have to be careful, uh, but it's not, it's not as difficult to get in and out as it was for that whole wireless module wire attached to the Osmo case. And in here, of course, I have the little lightning adapter that uh, attaches just fine. The micro SD card slot uh, could, could take a little bit of, of work to get out but it fits in really snugly, so you're definitely gonna lose, not going to lose your uh, micro SD card in any given situation. 
Plus there's a little notation in here so that uh, to make sure that if you, if you did have, uh, if you actually did have one of the filters attached when you put it back in here, it should be okay. Now, using it without the wireless module uh, and putting it back in is not as difficult to do. However, um, I'm still really fearful of, of just the way that it slides in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to do that without the wireless module now. Sorry, I'm shaking up the whole table as I do this. A little bit of an earthquake. All right. Put that in there. That's actually reasonable. Putting in there is actually fairly reasonable. Taking out takes a little bit more of an effort, but it's definitely a lot more loose than before. Contrast this with the original one. This one slides just in and out, no problem. Um, so this is so much easier. You see that? There's absolutely no friction going in and out. I was really hoping that that, was, that would be the case. But see, they got the felt lining in here, whereas over here you got the silicone rubber, which makes it really difficult to get in, in and out. If this was somehow be able to switch out for this, it might actually work a little bit better. But because of the difficulties getting in and out and with the wireless base that I was hoping to be able to use it, and also because of the incompatibility with usage of the Polar Pro tripod mount, which I did a review on, uh, for those reasons, I am going to have to pass on this. But, you know, that's just me. If this is what it is, if this carries everything that you need uh, and want to carry around, and for only $16.99 for all of this, it makes sense for you, definitely, by all means, uh, go ahead and um, try it out. But I just wanted to share this with you uh, about my issues with it. Now I'm just going to demonstrate one last thing, and that is that this thing uh, attaches just fine and fits right over. And works directly with the unit as well. So I have this in here like that. And these cutouts, see that? Everything fits well. This actually fits much better. And it's actually snug. like. Also really snug. Also a little bit difficult to get out. But because you have this area here that you can use your thumbs to push out, it's actually a little bit easier to, to take out. So if you're using this the way it is without the wireless module, actually, let's see if we can attach a wireless module and make the whole situation a lot easier. Maybe that's what they were thinking. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Slide that in. Okay, slides in really snug, just like before. Taking it out is, is easier with this, but still requires quite a lot of work. This is not exactly friction proof. So on the outside, it looks the same with a lot more functionality. On the inside, I'm afraid it's gonna be a pass for me. All right, that's it for this quick first look review. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and uh, happy July 4th and I'll catch you in the next video.